But um, Chicky Chicky, who sorry to call you that because I can't remember your name, but but I'll I'll put you put you over there. You know that just really set a fire in my ass because I mean it just seemed like almost everybody I was okay. Most of the men in my repertoire <laughs> have the strangest names. Some of them they've changed because they turned Muslim, you know what I mean? It wasn't by any kind of divine plan. It's not like they were dressing in the in the soup jacket with the bow tie. I, I wouldn't go in that far with it, you know, they weren't obvious, you know. That should have been my first clue probably. But um yeah, or these specially highly evolved so called spiritual whatevers. You know what I am because <laughs> I don't know what to think about. I'm gonna call some names. I just might do it because let me tell you, I have been through some, I have met some characters in my life. I swear to God. Well, let me see. Can y'all see? I mean, I'm pretty much sure. I'm still here thinking that there must be some infrared beacon of light, little halo effect. You know, I'm crazy. Hey, crazy. Come talk to this chick. Come talk to this chick. They find me, y'all. I, I don't understand. Because I'm not the one. I don't put up with bullshit. Not that it was all bullshit, but just... You ain't matching, like something, something ain't, <laughs> you know, like trying to force two magnets together. I don't know. Maybe, you know, when people seem to be missing a screw, you know, they're hoping you that screw is going to like put them together. I ain't your fucking therapist, you know what? Therapy, you gotta pay for that. <laughs> that don't come with a, you know, you coming over for a relationship and all you want to do is try to put yourself together. Man, come on. Look, we all got our shit, but... And when you're in a relationship, yeah, you should be there for one another. I'm not saying that. But you know what I'm saying. Some of these motherfuckers think you just supposed to be there to just wipe their ass and... Because you're a woman, you're supposed to take care of them. Motherfucker, go back to your mama. Let her take care of your ass. But I gotta say, to my chicks out there, to my girls... Please stop letting these motherfuckers move into your house. I mean, come on now. It ain't that good. It, it just, it's not that good. Stop telling yourself that. And no, he's not going to change. And no, you're not going to change him. And no, you're not going to put it on him so good that he's going to want to marry you. Look, get that bullshit out of your head. Because you know what that does? For every one of those motherfuckers that we give that chance to, he's coming out of that thinking he gonna do it to somebody else and show sure enough. That's why these motherfuckers end up with four or five kids by eight different mothers. Because they live their whole life jumping from one mother's, one woman's house to another. They go from their mama's house to your house. Look, okay. Rule number one. If he ain't got nowhere to stay, he can't stay with you. <laughs> Plain and fucking simple. No, uh-uh. This ain't the romper room. Mm -mm. And if you ain't got nowhere to stay there, you need to find somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, ain't happening here. No, mm-mm. Rule number two. Okay, all you entrepreneurs out there, look, uh-uh, 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 <laughs> that shit ain't even cute no more. I'm talking about, oh, um, I always got money in my pocket. Okay, where's the rest of it? Are, are, <laughs> are you serious? I'm supposed to bank on what's in your fucking pocket. Okay, look, moving on. <laughs> Look, go go talk to a 16-year-old who's impressed with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And mothers that have 16-year-olds, talk to your girls so they don't think that shit is cute even then. 
Oh my God. And rule number three. I don't care if he has one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me back up. One or two kids is cool if you're about 30. If you're 25 years old and you got four or five kids, leave that motherfucker alone. I don't give a damn if he got dimples, look like LL. Look, stop it. Stop giving these motherfuckers just because they smile at you. Hey, girl. Mm. I mean, yeah, that's all cute, but come on, they got to come with something. Stop giving so much to these motherfuckers. They ain't got shit, nothing. And all they doing is coming to get from you. But they smiling at you. Hey, girl. Let me holler at you. And if he's writing your phone number on a piece of paper... Okay, some of y'all deserve this shit, for real, because when the writing's on the wall and you want to act like you don't see it, who are you going to get mad at, him? You're going to get mad at him. And then when he sees you sniffing and catching on, now he's going to start staying away and working on the next victim. Then you want to turn around and get mad at her when you find her in his phone. 